Hi there, thanks for coming. Can you hear me? Wonderful. Uh, my name is Pooja Njanwala. I'm the acting USAID spokesperson. Thank you so much for joining us here today. We're really excited about uh, the items you see behind us, and we're going to talk a little bit about that today. I'd like to first bring up Jeremy Conendike, the executive director for USAID's COVID-19 task force. He's going to give you a few details about what we're doing here today. One second. Well, hi, everyone. It's a, it's a real privilege for me um, to be here today uh, showing solidarity with our, our Indian partners. Uh, India helped us last year in some of the darkest days of the U.S. pandemic, sending assistance in our hour of need, and we are now in partnership with the Indian government, reciprocating that in, um, uh, during this difficult period in India. So uh, behind us here are the contents of a plane that will take off tonight, headed for India. Uh, we will be sending oxygen cylinders and N95 respirators. So these are materials that will both help to, uh, help to sustain uh, people sick with COVID-19 in India. Uh, oxygen treatment is one of the most effective ways to treat severe COVID-19. So this, the, the things that you see behind us will be saving lives in India in the coming days. Um, N95 uh, respirators or N95 masks are going to protect health workers. So the health workers who are on the front lines face some of the highest risks. And as we saw in our own country, protecting them is absolutely vital. So these N95s will help to save, potentially save the lives of health workers as well. So everything behind us here, everything on this flight will be saving lives in India in the coming days in partnership and in support of uh, our partners in the Indian government and in support of the Indian people. So it is, a real, it is a privilege and an honor for USAID to support the partnership between the US and India in this way. Uh, and I want to turn it over now to my colleague, Ambassador Kurt Campbell, uh, and Simona Guha from the White House, uh, who will say a few more words.